Busy day? Busy. Busy isn't the word for it. I'm presenting two offers this morning, both of them real low ball. I've got a buyer with cold feet on that Calabasas property, and I'm scheduled for an open house on the Via Escobar place at 1. What's he barking at? I don't know. He's been yapping since I let him out. Must be a squirrel or something. Or maybe Jack's dog got loose again and he's out there peeing on the fence driving him crazy. Anyway, it's going to be crazy. And it's Carla Bayer's birthday. So a bunch of us after work. Don't you think this is cute? Yeah, I guess, but can't one of the secretaries do that sort of thing for you? It's the personal touch that counts and moves property. How many times do I have to tell you that? Hey! Hey! Dang, Kylie, why do the idiots feed them? Ah, here, boy, come. Jim Shirley, what about the break-ins? Out of my block, there have been two houses hit in the last month alone. The Casey's lost something like $50,000 in Oriental rugs while they were away in Europe. I don't know how many of you sitting here tonight are familiar with the modus operandi, but when the thief, what the thieves do is typically they pry open the garage door, they take their sweet time, they load your valuables into their own, your own car, and then they drive off as if they were entitled to it. I can't believe what I'm hearing. If we wanted to live in a gated community, we would have, we would have lived in Hidden Hills or Westlake, but we didn't. You wanted an open community, freedom to come and go. And not just for those privileged enough to live here, but for everyone, rich or poor. It goes against my grain to live in a community that closes its streets to somebody because of the car they drive or the big house they have. I mean, what's next? I say we've got to put an end to this. I'd like to open my arms to everybody in the world, no matter how poor they are or what country they come from. I'd like to leave my back door open and the screen door unlatched, but you know as well as I do that that can't be. I say the gate is necessary, as vital, essential, and undo withoutable as the roofs over our heads and deadbolts on our door. Face up to it. Delaney Mossbacher. I just wanted to know, how many of you are aware of what feeding the coyote population means? Speak to the question. This is no trivial issue. My dog. I'm sorry, Delaney, but we have a pending question regarding the construction and maintenance of a gated entryway. I'm going to have to ask you to speak to that point or yield the floor. But Jack, you don't understand what I'm saying. Look, a coyote got into our backyard this morning and took... Yield the floor. I won't yield. This, this is what happens. <gasps> Who is it? His name is Lost Boxer. Hey, Jack. So, they got one of your dogs, huh? Afraid so. That's what I was trying to tell them in there. You can't feed wild animals. That's about the long and short of it. Yeah, I know what you mean. By the way, the other night when you came to see my father about the Mexican? Yeah? What of it? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering where, where it was happening. You said they were camping and all? Yeah. Out on the Canyon Road. Why? Oh, I don't know. I was just wondering. I see a lot of them down there lately. You said they were down below the lumberyard, right? Where the trail cuts into the ravine? Right. 
Well, I've got to get going.